Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we want to talk about Euler's method. So Euler, um, as you may know, he was the founder of Euler's number E, which we use a lot in calculus. Um, he was really one of the first students of calculus, and he invented this nice numerical technique for solving um, differential equations. So when I say a numerical technique, that means that we are going to be approximating. We're not going to be finding we're definitely not going to be finding an analytical solution. So an, anal an analytical solution, that's what we're really going to be focusing on in the next videos, how we can solve these differential equations, complicated differential equations, by using a pen and paper, using some calculus. However, um, Euler's method is really sort of an algorithm. It allows us to approximate what a solution curve should look like, and then you can analyze that solution curve when you need to. So this kind of goes hand in hand with what we discussed on the last video, which was the slope field. So these um, curves that we're discussing, um, that we're going to find with Euler's method, they're really going to be generated by um, some slope field. And we're going to be doing an initial value problem. And as we said in the last video, if you have a graph, when you find a differential equation, you have a derivative. So um, a derivative kind of loses the information of a general function because um, you don't really know where your y-intercept is. So an initial value problem says, here's your equation, and also here's where it starts. So um, that, that, that governs where you are on the y-axis, where your solution curve would start, and then you can generate your plot from that solution curve so you're not given a family of curves. So that is what the initial value problem is. Now we're going to start talking about Euler's method. So again, as I was saying, it's kind of an algorithm. So it's really an approximation for a solution curve. So we say that um, y prime is equal to some function of um, the coordinate where we are. It's, it's the slope where our coordinate is, right? Um, and the y of x0 is going to be y0, so y is a function of x. And um, our initial value, where, x, where we have x0, that's equal to our initial y0. And we're going to have a little step of h. So um, a step of h is kind of the, it, it really speaks to how we are doing some sort of discrete approximation. We're not being continuous. So when we get some sort of um, curve, we're going to have a slope field here, but I'm not going to draw the slope field. Um, because then it's going to get pretty cluttered. But um, you would have your curve, so that's your actual solution curve. But Euler's method, you're going to start here. It's going to generate something like this, little steps. It's going to be kind of like, almost like the arc length that we were discussing, kind of like as a Riemann sum, but of course we're not finding the arc length. We're just trying to approximate that curve. It's going to give us little linear approximations for little... Um, for little steps, and that would be a step like h, we'd get a given slope. We'd get like a y equals mx plus b, and that would give us the formula, right? Okay, so um, this is the algorithm. So y sub n is equal, so this is given an initial value and an x sub 0 and a y sub 0 for initial. Um, y sub n is equal to um, y sub um n minus 1 plus h, the little step change, times um, f of x sub n minus 1 times y sub n minus 1. So that's really like if we have y prime equals yada, 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 that's what that is. So we're inserting that yada, yada, yada into that um, function, then we're multiplying it by the by this step there. Okay, so um, let's let's try an example. This this isn't too too bad. So um, we are going to use a step of 0 0.1 to approximate um, y prime is equal to x plus y. Um, and our initial condition is that y of 0 is going to be equal to 1. All right, so um, we know um, at y, so 0, that's our x sub 0, so x sub 0 equals 0. And then we know our y sub 0, so our y sub 0 is going to be equal to 1. So now we can start using our algorithm. So in order to find um, our algorithm, we're just going to lay everything out. So we get f of x, y is equal to x plus y. So y prime is equal to x plus y. That should be easy. Um, our little h step is 0 0.1. 
and then our initial x is 0 and our initial y is 1. So we can start by finding y sub 1. So y sub 1 is equal to y sub 0. Or you know what? Let's actually plot these points just so that we can see what's actually going on. All right, so there's our graph. So we've got our first point, x sub 0 comma y sub 0, is at 0, 1. So there's our first point. Then we get y sub 1 equals y sub 0 plus h times f of x sub 0 times y, or er, and y sub 0. Um, and so y sub 0 is 1, h is 0 0.1, and then f of x, y is x plus y, so we get x sub, x sub 0, um, which is 0, so we put 0 in there, and then we get y is 1, so y goes there into 1. So there we get 1.1. So we get x, um, x is going to be x sub 0 plus h, which is 0 0.1, then y is going to be 1.1. So we get 0 0.1 comma 1.1. So we get kind of a linear thing going there. So there is our first approximation. Now we'll try for a second approximation. So we go for the same thing. We keep pushing in our values. So our 1.1 here, that, that goes there. And then our x of value, that goes there and our h stays the same. But you can kind of see how this keeps compounding, and then that, of course, goes there as well. So we get 1.22 for y sub 2, so we get 0 0.2 comma 1.22. So maybe that's like a little bit above, like there. Then we get, we'll do the same thing for y sub 3. Um, our 1.22 goes there and there, and then our... Um, 0 0.1, we add 0 0.1 to 0 0.1, we get 0 0.2, 1.22 goes there, then we got 1.362. So now we're kind of up here by the time we get to 1.3. So now we get some sort of little linear approximation of what a solution curve could look like. So there's our little approximation, and it's just going to keep going up like that.